I would say the journey to this house started with wanting to downsize, having a home with less maintenance, being closer to our environment. So we decided that we wanted to model a home after our little camp that we enjoyed spending so much time at, and basically that's where the footprint for this house came. We were looking for what's called an ICF home, insulated concrete forms. So I met my friend Danielle and I mentioned to her we were looking to build and she said, well, that's what my husband does. I love ICFs and I just love the concept of it and the energy efficiency of it, how good it is for the world. So I met with them and we talked a little bit about it and they were perfect. The initial idea was an apartment over a very large garage. What was amazing about the home design itself is that it was done on a piece of scratch paper by my wife, Kat. Well, the first thing we did is design the orientation so that we get maximum solar gain. We dug our hole and we did ICF right down to the footings. Our footings underground are all insulated. So it's three and a half inches of rigid foam with strapping molded into it. So we get this beautiful seal. Nowhere in this house do we have thermal bridging. By using the ICF block technology, they've minimized their heat loss by building a really well built tight, well-insulated building envelope. The only thing that heats this house is a tiny on-demand hot water heater. There's an energy recovery ventilation system installed, which exchanges fresh air from outside. So basically the fresh air coming in is preheated by the exhaust air going out. We maintain the humidity level at the proper level to not grow bacteria. You're getting constant fresh air, healthy air. People don't get sick in these houses. So the air source heat pump is supplying the cooling. So there's no duct work. The duct work is usually a source of energy loss. Here, because there is no ductwork, all of that cooling comes directly through the air source heat pump. A lot of glass here, and that was chosen specifically. They wanted the farm view and get that early morning to early afternoon sun. It just heats this house up beautifully. My favorite part of this home is just all of the windows. We have incredible views of the outdoors, so even when it's too cold to be outside, we still get to enjoy them. But I like that the windows bring in more heat than they let out, believe it or not. This home scored a 45 before the renewables were introduced. After the renewables were introduced, it scored a negative 29. There's over 10K of solar on the roof that's feeding more power back into the grid than that is actually being pulled off the grid on this site. Mike made sure we knew about NH saves all through the process so that we were able to access the rebates. Working with Eversource was great. It was flawless. It was seamless. Anything I needed, they could answer my question. It was quick response time. If I got to them, I would always get an email back the next day, and they were excited. We enjoyed building this home so much. Mike was a fantastic builder, and we were working next to him side by side all of the time. They were elbows deep in concrete with me. And what was amazing about Mike was he decided to take other days off and worked with us all weekend long. He, he spent time away from his own family, working Saturdays and Sundays so we could work alongside with them. Oh, they were just the perfect people for me to work with. They just loved it and they loved what they were doing and they loved me helping them. I would say to any new home builder, that's building a new home uh, to take your time, to make sure it's what you want. And do your research. I think we found that the longer we waited, we learned about more programs, more things that were out there. It changed the way we positioned our house, the pitch of our roof, and we just couldn't be happier in this home. I love this home like it was my own home. Yeah, we yes. do love our home. Yeah. <laughs> we love our home. <laughs>